Good morning. Here is a quick no frills vegan breakfast cooking video. So a few things that you should make sure that you have just bare minimum and I'm cooking a bare minimum recipe here is this silken extra firm tofu. You can order this on Amazon Prime and they'll deliver it to you on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis for a discounted price. It's the option I usually go with. This is what it looks like. My baby has stolen some of the tofu off the block because she likes raw tofu. So it won't look quite that ugly. <laughs> um, extra virgin olive oil, salt, onion powder. Usually I would put garlic and a few other spices in there, but we're just going to make this easy and quick. So I already have my onions in here and I've been browning them for a while. So individual tastes will vary. So however you like your onions cooked. I also, I also added some salt to my onions already. And that's not something that you have to do. I just like salt in my onions. Okay, I'll have an option to skip the onion cooking process and other processes as needed in the description of the video. So these are looking nice. I'm going to turn this down. This is not my best pan, but you'll be able to get the idea. Next, you're going to take the tofu and you're literally just gonna crumble it into the pan like that. Make sure your hands are clean. Another really nice addition to the tofu crumble that gives it a cheesy taste is having some nutritional yeast on hand, which I'm actually currently out of nutritional yeast. But at this point, as you are cooking it, you could add in a few tablespoons of nutritional yeast to give it kind of a cheesy flavor. Kind of keep stirring it around like it's eggs until you get it to the consistency that you like. At this point, you could also throw in some canned spinach or some fresh spinach, and it would be like a spinach scramble. Sometimes vegan food is not pretty, but this is actually pretty tasty. I'm gonna add some onion powder. Actually, grandpa's. Yep. Huh? Oh yeah. You are so smart. Yeah, that's a picture um, of one of the ones that we pushed to the range with grandpa in Texas. Yep. Mm -hmm.
So when you pull this out of the pan, when it's ready and to the consistency that you prefer, another nice little garnish that you could add is um, some fresh tomatoes that are sliced and lightly salted or not, depending on what your sodium restrictions may or may not be. But um, tomatoes taste really nice as a little side to this dish. But this can be cooked in between 12 and 15 minutes for cooking and breakfast, including prep time, depending on how quickly you can chop an onion. But it just depends on your skill with dicing. I have this cooking on seven. <clears throat> I usually start the onions on high, but that's just because I'm southern, and I like to start everything on high. That's probably when my pans look the way they do. As I said, it can be garnished. You can add other vegetable mix-ins to it if you enjoy that sort of thing. Another really yummy addition is um, mushrooms. If you enjoy mushrooms, you can add some mushrooms in once you get your onions to about the midpoint of cooking. And garnish it with tomatoes, and that also tastes really nice. So, there you have it quick, easy tofu scramble.